Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. So what I'm going to be presenting to you today is my latest project. It's a Phantom Wallet Opener. Now you might be asking well, what is a Phantom Wallet Opener? Well in fact, what even is a Phantom Wallet? So a Phantom Wallet is this very cool wallet that allows you to insert a number of different credit cards uh, and open them and fan them out like this just using the hand on the right. Uh, like I said, it's a very cool uh, wallet. You should check out their website, uh, thephantomwallet.com. Uh, and the guys that designed the Phantom Wallet, they contacted me, they really liked my LEGO Technic channel and they asked me to build a machine that would demonstrate the features of this wallet uh, so the idea was that we have some sort of LEGO Technic machine that would open the wallet and then automatically close it again uh, on kind of like on a cycle that would allow them to really demonstrate this wallet in action so that is what I'm going to be presenting to you today Okay, so before I begin, I'll just let you know that I've now set up a Facebook page. Now, I'm not normally a big Facebook user, so but I thought I'd set up a page and allow people to get more insights into some of the things I do uh, for my videos, like, I guess, behind the scenes and things like that. So, yeah, please um, check that out. Uh, maybe follow that page or leave some likes. I've probably only got you know, a couple of followers at this stage. I'm going to just set it up the other day. Uh, just search for Technic Brick Power on Facebook and yeah, I'd love to see you there and uh, following and checking out my page. Okay, so when I first started working on this project, I thought oh, it should be fairly easy to design this wallet opener, but as it turns out, it's a lot more complex than I first thought. Uh, the design and build was a lot bigger than what I anticipated. It ended up being about 700 pieces all up the whole uh, design. Uh, so the first problem I need to solve was to actually uh, design a framing to hold the Phantom Wallet. So that was fairly straightforward. The dimensions of the Phantom Wallet are pretty similar to the LEGO Technic dimensions. So I managed to kind of fit it in here quite nicely. I'm using these rubber components just to hold it in there. Uh, and then the next part was to design the, like the opening mechanism and the closing mechanism. And I've kind of come up with this arm on the right that has a uh, pair of lift arms that can kind of grab that phantom wallet's opening mechanism and open it and then rotate around that will open it like that and then I've got another part that kind of comes down closes it again and moves up so by kind of designing that part uh, just manually I realized that it kind of had to be a four state machine and what I mean by that is we've got one state where this part's moving up and then uh, opening the wallet and then kind of moving down again and then I've got this part coming down and then moving up again. So we've kind of got two parts to the whole mechanism, the uh, the opener and the closer. And the opener goes between two states, one where it's going forwards, and then it goes backwards, and then the closer goes forwards and backwards. So it's kind of like a, a four-state machine, and coincidentally I already actually designed something very similar to this a while ago. A while ago I presented this um, four-state gearbox and the idea of this gearbox was that with a single motor you could change the states and end up controlling two different outputs. I've got a, a grey output and a yellow output and what we can do is by turning on the, uh, the motor like this and driving it we can see that the right output is going in a clockwise direction and then by reversing the motor I can change states and now it's going in the reverse direction and then again by reversing the motor and changing states I can make the left one go in the anti-clockwise direction and then by changing states I can now go in the forward direction. <clears throat> so that was exactly what I needed for this phantom opener design as well. I've basically got two outputs, one that goes first goes forwards and then goes in reverse and then another output that first goes forwards and then goes in reverse. So I was able to uh, utilize this uh, gearing mechanism in the phantom wallet opener uh, in order to be able to change those four states and create the uh, opening and the closing mechanism the directions that I needed. Okay, so in case of the single motor gearbox, uh, I've got four different states and those four different states are being switched between by reversing the motor, so that would change between the four different output states. In the case of the phantom gearbox opener, of course I'm not reversing the motor, what I've got, I've got a similar mechanism, I've got an orange rotary catch underneath here driving these driving rings and I've got the four different states and the four different states are being transitioned between by having these small lift arms in the appropriate positions and those lift arms get pushed by another small lift arm in order to change the, between the four different states. So I'll just give you a demonstration of a small model of that. So for example here I've got that orange rotary catch in the middle. It's got the uh, four different states. I've got a stepping mechanism on this side just to create those four 90 degree angles representing the four different states. And then I've got this small orange lift arm and then as I drive one of the states we've got another small lift arm coming across and pushing on that orange lift arm 
in order to switch the stage just like that. And then once it's switched, then of course this one's being disengaged. Another part will engage and drive another part of the mechanism. So that's how I transition between uh, the four different states. Now when I first designed the state transition mechanism, it seemed to work fine. So I kind of create this little mock-up of it uh, and I just a test to make sure the idea worked. And simply by you know rotating this small lift arm onto the orange lift arm, I could change states quite nicely like that, and that worked really well. So, but uh, when I actually built the phantom opener, I ended up with this issue where because uh, that orange rotary catch was being driven by four of these, depending on uh, which state it was in, I need to have one for each state to be uh, switched to the next state. Uh, what ended up happen happening is there was quite a bit of friction on that orange rotary catch, and I'll just simulate that by adding this. Uh, friction uh, pin gear and what would happen was that uh, as I rotate and try to change uh, states it would kind of push it push it push it but then it would disengage that pushing mechanism uh, from that uh, driving ring would kind of disengage and not quite push that orange lift arm all the way across it kind of meant it ended up in sort of in this 45 degree state so rather being a 90 degree state it kind of ended up sticking at 45 degrees and that wasn't ideal, so I had to think of a, a way around that. So the way I got around this problem was to add another 16 tooth gear in between the orange rotary catch and the 90 degree stepping mechanism. And what that meant was, is when the stepping mechanism is at 90 degrees, the orange rotary catch is actually at a slight angle. You can see from this lift arm here, it's about 11 degrees. And that's simply because of the gearing between the 16 tooth gears. The next gear has to be offset by half a tooth um, in order to mesh correctly so that means that this lift arm is at that slight angle and what that means is a very slight extra distance that this driving lift arm has to rotate in order to switch the rotary catch and what that means is that it doesn't quite uh, disengage as early as the previous design and therefore it will actually fully push the step mechanism around to the correct 90 degree position so I'll just demonstrate that so as I rotate that uh, grey lift arm onto the orange one to change states you can push around like this and then by the time it disengages uh, from that lift arm um, with that driving ring uh, we are now at the correct 90 degree angle for that stepping mechanism so that is how I solved that particular problem for the phantom wallet opener alright so by now you'll be keen to see the phantom wallet opener in action so I'll just turn it on around the back and off we go, we're in state 1, and state 1 means that the right part of the mechanism will start operating shortly. And here it goes, it moves up like that. The interesting part about this lift arm is that as it lifts up it actually engages the gear that rotates that opening lift arm that will open up the phantom wallet lat and spread out the credit cards. Now grab the card that you um, want to use. We're now back in state 2, it drops down the right part of the mechanism uh, and actually got this lift arm here to push that and rotate around into the correct position. Now in state 3, enclosing the wallet and transitioning to state 4. Now you can see the orange um, lift arms being rotated for the state transitions like I talked about before. Now opening up again, that's state 4 and now we're going back into state 1. To repeat the whole cycle so we'll just watch that again so we've got that right part coming up rotating around so like I said as it moves up and engages the gears and like I said we've kind of got this part of the mechanism just to rotate that around a little bit further so that the small lift arm that does the state transition ends up in a, uh, a correct position for the next cycle just watch some of that from a different angle so from this angle we can see here the orange rotary catch is underneath uh, that is driving the driving rings and here we've got that state indicator on the right that we can see which state we're in we can see that state changing and we are now in the next state the state that will again open up the wallet So there we have it, the Phantom Wallet opening machine. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Please check out the Phantom Wallet. And again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.